As if we don't have enough problems in this country, we also now have to deal with the Liberal Democrats, the out-of-touch politicians like Leila Moran, who are fighting against border control by forcing local people to house illegal migrants. Yep, this is the country we are dealing with, the political class from left, right and centre, up, down, everywhere, who are completely refusing to listen to p real people up and down the country. They, they, they refuse to actually hear uh, people out because we have priorities. We have a lot of issues to deal with. One of the main ones is border control. Whether it's legal and illegal migration when it comes to us opening the doors a long time ago and it's that door, it's still open. And you know, there are some politicians who try to slowly close it, but it doesn't really happen. Now, Leila Moran, who's now starting a campaign to fight against us protecting our borders, which is a very simple and basic thing that countries do, right? We have borders, we have flags, for a reason. Now, she's come out, launches campaign against uh, one of the detention centers in uh, Campsfield, the uh, house detention center, uh, because she doesn't want migrants to be detained. She doesn't want them to actually stay in one place, be controlled, so that we could vet them. No, 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 she doesn't want that. Because she believes whoever comes from anywhere, and if they say, well, I am this person, I, I, I'm a refugee, you just have to believe them. No time to process. Now, this is the, the page that she's created and her so-called political party, the Lib Dems, saying that the government have announced they are reopening the Campsfield House Detention Center because it was closed in 2018. And she's not happy about that. She's saying that, well, why is this happening? Why, why are we treating migrants as like, like criminals? But dude, you cross the border without any visa or passport or identification. You've kind of broken the law already. So that's why we have to vet them. That's why you have to give them in one place. Now, she says the community fought for many years to get the site closed in 2015 successfully. And then the campaign to stop further expansion. Well, what is this, NATO or the Israeli government? <laughs> Expansion. Now, the funny thing is, is that she says uh, we, um, the, the, as, as a whole group, the, all the champagne socialist liberals, left-wing liberals, saying that we have to uh, make sure to, to start the campaign to close this site. Now, she's getting people to sign. So far, she has 237 signatures. <laughs> 237 freedom fighters <laughs> on behalf of the Lib Dems have signed this petition, this campaign, this pledge. Wow. Talk about being out of touch, right? Now, the funny thing is, because you have to laugh, otherwise it's just too sad. People like uh, Leila Moran, uh, they, um, they boasted about the fact that Oxfordshire welcomed, warmly welcomed refugees and migrants and everybody. You know what, that, what she meant? This was the, the photo that she, you know, she was very happy about all the migrants and refugees coming. They used the Afghans as an excuse, saying that, well, Afghans are coming, uh, they're fleeing you know, chaos and persecution, right? But then that also included everybody else who were not from Afghanistan. And she said, when she says Oxfordshire welcome people, that meant local people. She, she is a, 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 in the category of politicians who say, we, we, should, we should actually open our homes to migrants, yet... They don't do it themselves, even though a lot of them have big houses, they have a lot of space, but they don't do it themselves. They want you to do it. This is the problem, the hypocrisy of these idiots. Now, part of this campaign, let's go back to it. It says uh, that it is absolutely shameful that the government will be locking up people who are fleeing, as I said, conflicts and persecution and all that. Just because, as I said, someone comes and says, oh, I'm an asylum seeker, I, I just you know, fled persecution doesn't mean it's true we have to go through checks we have to through the process to vet them you can't just believe anybody otherwise everyone from all the countries and continents will just come to the uk because the united kingdom of great britain and northern ireland is a magnet for the world there's a reason that everybody wants to flee france to come to the uk so do not make this country more of a magnet than it is by saying that well if anybody comes and if they stay they are a refugee just believe them. It's absolutely chaotic. You're going to open the door to more chaos. And that's already happened anyway. 
dark stuff is gonna come out Layla. dark stuff is gonna come out now we have to fight back and that's why this channel exists thanks to your support so share this video subscribe to the channel i'm my tc and we are the media